Namaste. Welcome to Samvad. Together in conversation, and I'm Sunil Rao here. Samvad together in conversation, to the ones paying heed, is where we try to draw your attention to things that matter and the importance of our attention. Why is that? Now let us remember this again. What we give our attention to matters as our life's experience would ultimately amount to whatever we had paid attention to. Attention, what is it, is is, is as fundamental as food and we go blundering about, seeking ways to assuage the craving. Instead of learning how to provide ourselves with what we need sensibly and calmly. Once our attention is drawn to the mechanism of why and what we give attention to, it is as if a veil has been stripped off and we become freer in our action and choices. And that is our endeavor. Now this week, after a gap of almost a fortnight, I bring to your attention an excerpt titled Know Thyself from a collection of articles titled The Multiple Nature of Our Minds by Robert Einstein, David Sobel and Sally Mullen. These articles draw our attention to the many facets of our mind. It seems reasonable that we should know our own mind. But what we know is just one small aspect related to the controlling functions of consciousness. We are far less aware of other equally important parts of the brain. To the excerpt, know thyself. There exists different centers of mind in the brain and we often don't know what we are doing until we see what we do. Non-conscious routines lead us automatically and thus unconsciously along lines of thinking and action without our ever directing them. A spontaneous act begins before we are aware that we have decided to act. The decision then is often not up to us, our conscious selves that is. Rather, we watch a part of our minds begin actions on their own authority and can sometimes veto the orders before they make it out to the muscles. We have a system of many small unconscious minds, each with its own program. We are each somewhat like a multiple personality, organized and controlled to a limited extent by the conscious self, our conscious self. Now here ends this particular excerpt, but you'll find some very interesting, thought-provoking books from where some of the extracts have been taken, where the contributor writers have themselves written this book. I'm sure you'll thoroughly enjoy reading the collection of these articles. You can click on the following link, uh, else if you can't see or click on the link, you can log on to www.humanjourney.us, go on to the section Our Mind in the Modern World and to the Multiple Nature of Minds and you can read the various articles there. Do not forget to enjoy reading it with your family, friends and near and dear ones. And if you prefer reading it in solitude all by yourself, do not forget to share interesting facts, excerpts with your family, friends and near and dear ones. Concluding today's post and podcast episode, I thank all who take time out and read the blog post and listen to the episodes each week. For those who listen and have not subscribed, to the podcast, I suggest you do and leave a review and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified for all the new episodes that get uploaded every week of late. as It has been sometimes a fortnight or a little later than that, but we'll continue to do uh, doing these regular uploads. Uh, until the next time, you all stay safe, healthy and have a good day. Namaste. Thank you.